YouTube, what up? I'm about to do this first video vlog. I've been meaning to do this for a while, but been lazy. Um, but yeah, I've been wanting to get started on these. But anyways, I'm headed to uh, Modesto, California, Costco out there. Uh, picked up this load in Utah as a split load at a drop yard. And uh, yeah, it's about 540 in the morning. I'm about to do my pre-trip. get this day started got my coffee got everything set to go um, but yeah man let's get it all right let's get this pre-trip going turn on my lights Man, it's way too early in the fucking morning. So I checked all my fluids last night. So pretty much checked my tires this morning. Make sure nobody messed with my freaking uh, airlines. Make sure my lights work. Close my door, right? All right. We're going into California. So make sure I'm in front of that 40. Lights are good. Lights are good. Question is, should we get a truck wash this morning? Huh. Truck is pretty dirty. Yeah, screw it. Let's go. It's hot in here. So bump this AC. Well, that's the exit. Where's the entrance? Employee parking only. Obviously, it's not there. Gotta be the next driveway. All right, all right, all right. Oh, update from last video, which I know was over a month ago, but that truck broke down. So Legend, instead of sending it to the dealer and uh, getting it fixed, which they're gonna do ultimately, uh, they said, you know what? Move into a brand new truck. 
So I'm currently in a 2023 Cascadia, first driver of this truck. Had a thousand miles when I got it. Has 9,000 miles now. Um, but yeah, man, legend came through with the brand new truck. Now I will say, having a brand new truck has its perks, but it also has its disadvantages. First and foremost, this has all the safety features versus my last truck that didn't have any of the safety features. Um, and that's a good thing and a bad thing. It's more annoying than anything else. I mean, the safety features are good, but the one in particular that really annoys me is this uh, lane detection. Cause it has a loud ass buzzard if you like go over the lane and it'll go off also if you're like driving by an uh, exit ramp and the lane disappears it thinks you're going over the lane so it'll still go off so i mean their systems are not perfect but by any means but i guess the other safety features are kind of nice it has uh adaptive cruise control has side radar it has that uh, you can't really see it but on the pillar there's a little light to indicate if you have somebody next to you and it's for your tractor and trailer so that's kind of cool but uh yeah but yeah they came through with the brand new truck this one has a black and black interior versus my old truck had the black and brown interior but uh yeah man so legend still treating me right still enjoying them i actually just came back from six days off i was out in ensenada mexico living it up um but yeah man so this thing sat for like a week so it's all dirty so yeah let's get it washed hopefully these blue beacon guys don't take forever and put myself on duty instead of eating up my clock <sighs> come on this thing annoys the crap out of me sometimes. The Omni tracks, it's just sensitive and weird. But anyways, I'll catch you guys in a bit after this truck gets washed. Sun in your face. Then take the first left. Turn left at the stop sign. Then take the first left. All right, Garmin, calm down. Hold your horses. Anybody else have this issue? This is a brand new truck, right? Well, mind you, <laughs> this truck, I just got it right about a month ago. First week I have it, huge ass rock hits my windshield and cracks it. So this is a brand new windshield on here, but. Anyways, even on my old truck and this truck, anybody else have this issue with the uh, with the Cascadias? When I get my truck washed at Beacon, water leaks through the windshield. Now, I don't know if it's the windshield leaking itself because when it rains, I don't see any leaks. I don't know if it's the visor that's on the outside, but something is definitely leaking. I always have to wipe down my windshield from inside. Ugh. Kind of annoying i don't know if you can see this drop that's dripping down the windshield i'm gonna have to wipe this windshield down again oh it's a couple drops yeah so anyways let me know if you guys have the same issue but we're about to go through <sighs> okay we're about to go through donner's pass and get into california I'm about to cross into reno where i'm currently in fernley nevada so 
got 230 miles to go to this Costco. So I'm just gonna get down and boogie. So I'll catch you guys on the road. I actually know this area pretty well up here in Reno, Sparks area. Because when I used to work for Warner, um, the Starbucks account I was on was based out of Minden, which is pretty much Reno. And uh, yeah, I used to be up here all the time. And I gotta say, up here, it's beautiful in the winter, man. Like, it sucks driving up here, but it's gorgeous. I currently live in Vegas, but wouldn't mind living in northern Nevada. It's really pretty up here. Trippy that the moon is out. It's daytime. Adult Fantasy Store. <laughs> uh. All right. Just finished checking my brakes. I'm about to go Donner's Pass. So I had to stop. I will say like Got a question for you guys like in my year of driving i've seen like five trucks at bottom hours and 19 minutes of okay drive. hush i got a uh, i've seen like five six trucks burn at the bottom of hills like why do you guys ride your brakes all the way downhill i don't get it like my j brake holds me fine so i don't know No music for uh, YouTube copyrights this. All right, 13 minute brake check. Not bad, I guess. Let's get out of here. on the left side uh, uh, of course you got a pickup truck coming through here bro make sure I don't take out this trash can with my tandems oh. all right I'm gonna park right here and go check in see you guys in a bit door number one Oh, this is going to be an easy ass dock. Well, it was going to be easy dock until cars started coming through. Bro, what are you doing, man? Get the f out of my way, dude. Go! <laughs> Jesus. Alright. This was going to be easy until I have... And I got a car behind me? Of course. Come on. 
make sure I don't hit anything behind me. Alright. Turn that butt. Alright, that's good. Ah. doors come on cool pretty much lined up let's go open up these doors trying to lock myself out of my truck which I'm notorious for doing let's break this seal Diapers. All right. Oh, of course, this door doesn't have doesn't have anything to hold it with. Some bootleg ass trailers, man. <laughs> the time I get one of these extra trailers, they've seen better days. Do 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 do. do. Gently, gently out. <laughs> All right. Put myself back on on duty. About to get unloaded. <sighs> Turn this truck off. I gotta go chalk my wheel. Now. Don't 
too. What the? <laughs> oh, that chalk has seen better days. Alright. Yeah, this was an easy dock. Plenty of space. Ah, they want me to take in my key though. Because they don't trust me. Which is retarded if you ask me. Because it's like, Costco's have this policy. Like, give us your key, but... Okay, I'll take you this key. But I also have this key. <laughs> so whatever. I'll take you one of my keys. No big deal. All right. Just don't have anything ready right, for me. Know. It is a Saturday, so. So yeah, I'm on standby. I still got a six, seven hours on my drive clock. I'm gonna find a pie there or flying J to go to and just chill until we see what's up because Traffic here at this Costco. I'm not about it. All right, come on, damn man, cars don't stop coming, huh? All right, so I've never been to this Bakersfield drop yard, but they say it's around here, so should be coming up. Assuming it's in here. Arriving at 2546 South Union Avenue, Bakersfield. Nah, it's not California, there. Not there. On the right. Maybe it's this yard. Alright. I'm gonna take a wild guess and see it's in here. Let's find out. Oh yeah, I see a legend trailer. Sweet! Alright. Make sure I don't hit anything. Oh. Cool beans. I'm looking for trailer 70, what? Seventy four, sixty three. 7463 74 63 74 63 that's not it oh I see you you're over there well shit Seventy four, sixty three. Well, fuck. Ah, uh, da 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 da. All right. California and I'll be ending my day here ran a total of 505 miles no bad day got to finish this tomorrow morning got to take it to uh, Fontana California split it there and then back off to Utah sorry about the clip 
before this, when I was at the drop yard, my GoPro died. But anyways, man, I'm tired. Maybe take a shower. Knock out. But I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.